I'm going to make a big old robot brush, basically. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go through and piecemeal all of this stuff here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. So I've got this thing. We don't need that. All right. So I've got my hips here. I got my legs here. I got my lower legs here. These ankles. I don't think I'll need these hands. I'm definitely going to need and these arms. I can keep these around because those are kind of cool looking. Uh, these things are just simple boxes. I don't need and then these things I don't need. So now I can go through here and if I'm just making a brush, I don't need two slides for a brush. I'm just going to go out of X mode and just delete those halves like so. And then on this side here, let's delete that arm. And now I don't want to, I want to make the hand just one single brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. The fastest way to do this is just turn off these subtools so I don't see them. And then I can just do a merge visible. And then I go grab that hand merge visible here. I can turn off X symmetry and then just delete that. And then I can go back to my working file here. And now we can just do append that hand merged hand and then I know everything left on my screen is deletable and it should uh, also be the stuff that has all the eyeballs here so I can delete 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 we don't need that that's the unreal base body I was just trying to match proportions with this guy and there we go we've got a brush here <coughs> cool cool so uh, we got this thing. Now, if I want to go ahead and start orienting these things, what I'm going to do is just do a massive uh, one multi brush for all of this stuff here. But I need to organize it a little bit first. Um, in order to make this e my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to go through from the top subtool and hit Control W. That just gives it one solid poly group here. I'm just going to step down with this arrow brush. Control W, Control W, Control W, Control W. Um, just to make these all one poly groups. Because what I'm going to do now <coughs> is go ahead and merge these down. And just so I don't get confused, I'm going to take this merged hand and just delete that. And so now we have all of these things merged together. I already have a file, a working file of a bunch of robot parts that I want to use later. So I'm going to go ahead and actually these are from the robot we made last workshop thing. So if you need to see that, um, hold on just a second. Let me link y'all. YouTube playlists. Go here. And check out the Twitch TV Pav mic, or you're on Twitch TV, so I don't need to link you that. You know all about that already. So we've got this here. I'm going to append our whatever it's called, female base for some reason. And we've got this thing now. So if we go down here, we can go, and because these are all each individual piece is a separate poly group, I can go to split, group split, and that'll split it up into those five pieces. And then uh, I want to just, I can, I guess I can do this now. So I'm just going to select one of these guys up here. I'm going to do a unify, which is going to make it just basically ZBrush size. If you make a ZBrush primitive, it makes a little cube. And then it makes unify, just basically puts your mesh into that cube bounding box. And then I'm going to repeat that to other. And that's going to snap all of these pieces right down here to the middle. So now what we need to do is uh, let's keep looking at some robots here. So... Uh, this guy, we're just going to replace a bunch of parts off of him. So I'll keep his shoulder pads. Anything that's kind of unique to his body here. I, I kind of have like a, a barrel with like a little watering spigot thing off the back and like a little old-fashioned, old-timey handle hanging off the back and a cool little, little thing up here. So um, we can steal some pieces off of him. I guess let's go ahead and do that. So the bodies are going to be unique. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, shoulder pads are unique. A lot of stuff is just unique to this guy alone. But I do, I can go ahead and take some of it. So let's go through here and just start deleting stuff. And all of this stuff is just like placeholder, all these like cubes and stuff for fingers. This is all one thing. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take much off this guy. In fact, these are kind of unique, too. Although that's kind of interesting. Yeah, these are unique. And they're not that hard to make again, so let's go ahead and delete those. Maybe I'll keep that around. That was a fun shape to make. 
And then this thing here, we'll see contractually, was I done with this thing? Let's see. QMesh, polygroup all. Let's drag these through. Does this look any better? That looks a little bit weak. That looks a little bit too much. Hmm. Let's do inset polygroup all region. And then we'll just And I guess we can do that too. So we'll just grab all these. One, two, three, 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 and set. And now when I pull through Q mesh, polygroup all, and then hit D, <coughs> it kind of thickens that up a little bit, gives it a little bit more robust of a, uh, so when you turn it, it doesn't look like it's gonna snap. Uh, so I, I like that shape, let's keep that. So we'll delete, I like these two shapes here. <coughs> so Control W. Control W, I'm going to merge these down, and on this one here, this is my clumpy one, I'm just going to go and save this one as temporarily bots brush. Okay, and now we can append this guy here, and I was working at ZBrush scale on these ones, so now if I go to split, group split here, and then we'll just go ahead and unify, repeat to other, and then let's keep going. So this thing here, we don't need any more. Delete. This was a fun guy. Anything we can pull off here. Um, he's got kind of weak hands. These are just the unreal hands. I'm probably going to skip that. Um, I'm going to skip this guy. I think he's mostly just unique kind of organic kind of look if you want to see this guy textured you can go to my sketch fab page and you can tumble around him here let's see here there you go let me check that out Yeah, I like ZModeler. It's um, and the thing I like most about it, honestly, is those uh, polygroups. Man, it's like having select like selection sets on crack. Just so easy to go in there and grab face selections without having to actually make a face selection a lot of the times. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna pull anything off this guy. So let's just go ahead and delete all. Let's see what else we got. There's our brush we're working on. Um, what is this thing? This is just the Unreal guy, which we're not matching his proportions anymore. So I'm just going to go here to delete all. And then this one is the Unreal guy, but skinny. Same thing. Delete all. Don't need that. And then we already pulled these pieces off, so we can just go ahead and hit delete. Okay, so now we're going to start making our brush here. Now we will need to organize this a little bit. I mean, you don't have to. But basically, when we go to make a brush, you're, you're going to want to hit uh, key and then just go through here and kind of select it. But of course, you want, when you drag out each individual object, you want it to drag out in a way that makes sense. And you also don't want your meshes to be super duper high poly. So I'm just going to go through here real quickly and kind of look at these things here. And uh, right off the bat, I most of this stuff's fine. It's just low poly. These things here, I can either decimate down, but since they're so simple... I think what I'm going to do instead is just isolate all of these Dynamesh parts, Control shift a Let's split these off temporarily. Hit Control w Yeah. And then what we'll do is just go over here to Geometry, Z-Remesher. And let's go Adaptive Size down to like 12. And then we'll go Target Polygon down to 5 is fine. We'll Z-Remesh these back, back down to simple shapes. Now we could I could go in there and make polygroups on like all of these individual faces here. Um, and turn keep groups on and that'll keep those nice and sharp but really I think this is fine in fact let's do half and see what that gives us let's go down to adaptive size of zero I mean yeah it melts it pretty tremendously but you know what let's merge that back down and see yeah that's totally workable I mean, it's not as nice as it could be we could go through and I could remake this really quickly uh, not worth it. So I'm going to say this one's done. So now we need to look and just keep everything organized. I've got, I want to have everything Z forward. Now when I drag out a hand, I'm usually looking at the stump of a forearm. So I'm going to want to rotate this. 
so that that this part of the hand is away from me. <coughs> or I'm looking at it, I should say. Oh wait, no, opposite of that. I want the fingers to look at me, and I want this hole to go towards the stump of the forearm here. We'll just rotate that around, <coughs> and we'll just kind of even this thing out. And of course, we're just holding down Shift to kind of snap between views here. Next. Uh, now this one here, we probably also, let's see if we can't just, let's see how this does. Let's do a group by normals. And we'll drop that down to like 28. That didn't do a terrible job, but I'm, what I'm looking for is here. And I can also go in here with mask. Um, I don't know if I showed, uh, I, I forget, but I have a mask um, convex, <coughs> which is basically, if you go over here to depth, uh, you have a depth mask turned on and you have your outer, your inner depth, which is just the little thing right here. You have that pulled up, not all the way to zero, but just to a very small number. And then when you go through here and mask, you will uh, respect your edges. So you can go through here really quickly and just start breaking these things up into like little maskable areas here. Uh, but again, it's not probably not even worth it. Worst case scenario, I can always just decimate this thing down. Ideally, I would have kept it uh, Z modeler style. Uh, or I could try and try the max angle thing and just do groups by normals, but then I start getting stray groups and uh, it's probably, I mean, you could clean up stray groups, just FYI. <coughs> you go over here to poly groups, you can do uh, merge stray groups, merge similar groups, and that'll kind of clean things. Actually, that did a damn good job. Still got a little bit of a stray V over here, but that's close, man. That's almost close enough to where I want to try it. Let's give it a shot. So if we go, eh, yeah, this starts bleeding in. Ah, eh, screw it. Okay, so again, worst case scenario, we can just decimate this thing down. So right now it's 80,000, which for an insert mesh brush isn't a deal breaker, but I'm just going to basically decimate this thing down to where, you know, and this shape's pretty easy to remake. You know, after all that talking, I'll just delete it. Okay, uh, this thing is ready to go. I think um, <coughs> you can give it a shot. You can clean up some of this stuff. Let's see if we can reconstruct here. Okay, we did a little reconstruct sub D. Looks like I did some <coughs> interesting things here. I'm gonna insert single edge loop and just kind of clean this up. Let's go ahead and delete higher here and here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's a little bit simpler. I'm going to, I guess I'll uncrease all. And now when I hit D, it's gonna subdivide like that. And that's turning on our, what is that doing? That's doing our dynamic subdiv on and off, so D and shift D. Just to kind of tighten this thing up just a tiny bit, I'm going to go through back through here and do, I'm not going to crease anything, but I am going to insert those edge loops back in there. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's true. Yeah. Um, not to say it doesn't have its shortcomings for sure. Uh, let's you know what, let's do a little bit of a crease tolerance there. Eh, okay, uh, you know what, I'm, I don't even like that very much, but we'll keep it. Uh, so we got this thing here, what's next? That's a good shape, we just basically doubled that one up. Let's go ahead and reconstruct on that one if we can. There we go, delete higher. I just want the simplest version of these things. <coughs> reconstruct, okay. And then we'll do shift D, this one's looking perfect. Nice, nice. Um, like I said, these are easy to create. I don't even know why I kept those things in here. Delete, delete. That's an interesting shape for one, but again, easy to recreate. That one's cool, and I don't feel like recreating that over and over again. That's a cool handle. We'll keep it. Okay, so <coughs> the other part of this task that I've been ignoring, just going through the cleanup here, is to go into floor and make sure we're Z forward. And I'm just going to step down through while we're in solo mode here. And this is one of these things where if I'm going to use it for a wrist or a knee joint, do I want it to look at me like this? Or do I want it to look at me straight on or both? We can do both. So you know what? We'll do this and we'll duplicate it and then we'll just rotate it this way. You can also use your deformation rotate menu, but I'm not overly concerned about exactness on these things. Okay. 
And these things obviously wouldn't be ter too terribly difficult to just recreate how we originally did, which we took these meshes from um, an insert brush. And did I do it on this channel? I think on the Pixelogic channel, I showed them how to just steal an entire insert mesh brush, not steal, um, use an entire insert mesh brush and capture it to a plane and then do basically this method here. This one, yeah, this one's fine. And again, we want the back of the hand to go towards the stump. There we go. And then just rotate this around here. This one's fine as is. And this one I want to have dragged out towards me and we'll go out of X here. Almost done, guys. Perfect. That one's fine. Okay, so now with all these showing, I'm going to shoot the hands to the top here, and then these are just like joint pieces, and then that's a wheel turner. So with all of these things showing, I'm going to go save as, and this I'm just going to say this is my bot's brush. I can always come back. Yes, please. I can always come back to this menu. Let me make sure I'm not recording system audio because that's going to be loud. Okay. Um, I can always come back to this file and recreate my insert mesh brush, so that's fine. So I'm going to hit B, create, insert, multi mesh, and then if I want to, you know, I can hit M, and now I've got all these pieces to pull from. Uh, so I can just keep adding to this brush as long as I have this file to go back to. So 